Hey, everybody. Thank you very much. My name is Doug Minofsky, and I'm co-founder and CEO of Pando Nutrition. And I'm very excited to share with you today how we are greening the livestock industry. Antibiotics were banned in 2017 by the FDA for use as livestock growth promoters. This took a seven kiloton market for antibiotics and drove it into the ground. This is a huge step forward for human health, but ultimately it presents a challenge for livestock producers. Livestock producers are now desperate for novel, non-antibiotic growth promoters. Central to this issue is the microbiome. For example, the chicken microbiome contains good bacteria and bad bacteria. Antibiotics are overkill and they completely wipe out the entire microbiome to promote livestock growth. We found a way to preserve the good bugs while we target the bad bugs to promote livestock growth without antibiotics. Our secret is lysozyme. Chickens make lysozyme in their eggs to protect their eggs from bad bacteria. You and I make lysozyme in our tears to prevent eye infections. Lysozyme is the first line of defense an animal has against bad bacteria. Unfortunately, lysozyme is a complex protein. This means it's difficult and expensive to manufacture, and that makes it uneconomical for livestock applications. So we recruited the microbiome to manufacture lysozyme for us. To engineer the microbiome, we start with baker's yeast. Baker's yeast is a safe, common probiotic used in animal feed. In fact, one-third of all yeast ends up in animal feed. Using recombinant DNA, we engineer baker's yeast to secrete natural lysozyme directly in the gut of the chicken. We call this panzyme, and it turns the chicken microbiome into a lysozyme factory. While at IndieBio, we validated our approach using two chicken studies containing 216 chickens each. And in both studies, we saw a 10% increase in growth over our negative controls. This is a traditional non-engineered yeast as our negative control. We also beat the gold standard antibiotic growth promoter, bacitracin. This means profitable livestock without antibiotics. Antibiotics have been used in livestock production for 70 years, but it is finally over. Using blood serum analysis, we validated that our chickens were in outstanding health. Our animal researcher even said that this was the best group of birds he's ever had. We tested panzyme in chickens because it was the fastest way to prove that it works. But it will also work in cows. And this is very exciting because it offers one important additional benefit, methane reduction. As you can see, by peering into the microbiome of our chickens in our study, Panzyme successfully targets Ruminococcus. Ruminococcus is key to the methane cycle in cows. If you haven't heard, cow methane is a major contributor to climate change, and beef and dairy producers are facing intense scrutiny. By knocking down Ruminococcus, we starve methanogens of essential metabolites. What we have here in Panzyme is an MVP capable of reducing methane emissions while simultaneously delivering the animal growth rates that the industry requires. The animal feed additives business is a huge market, and yeast isn't just a common ingredient, it's the fastest growing ingredient in this market. Here's our plan for the future generation of Panzyme technology to completely eliminate methane emissions by combining panzyme with two other enzyme-secreting strains of yeast, we will both knock out methanogens and replace their function in the microbiome. We've already met with the FDA, and as long as we are using enzymes, they're supportive of our approach and are generally recognized as safe determination. We are targeting market approval by the end of 2020. We are also developing a specialty strain of panzyme for the USDA. We are speaking with three of the top 10 meat processors in the world and 20 plus independent farmers. We are about to close our first LOI, and as we get into field trials in cows, we anticipate many more. Craig Rowski is my co-founder and chief scientific officer. 
He is a well-known microbiologist and immunologist in the Bay Area, having founded the Real Vegan, co-founded the Real Vegan Cheese Project and BioNascent, among other exciting projects. My name is Doug Minofsky, and I'm co-founder and CEO of Panda Nutrition, and I am an engineer and former business consultant turned entrepreneur, and we are both passionate about fighting disease, hunger, and pollution. We have assembled a team of key advisors. Thomas Nagy is the former president of Novozymes North America, a key livestock enzyme manufacturer. Dr. Sandeep Bani is a fermentation expert from Archer Daniels Midland, a, one of the largest agri-food companies in the world. Together, we cover the entire supply chain. We have concluded our proof of concept research and we are raising $3.4 million to continue to, to develop our MVP and get market approval over the next 12 months. We hope that you will join us and fight disease, hunger, and pollution. Thank you.